our next Supper with the Snakes activity, we're going to join Lelania for scent trailing so we can learn how snakes follow scents and smells to survive in the wild. Don't forget, you have a scent trailing activity in your adventure guide to follow along. Now we're here with Lelania. Lelania, what are we doing today? We're going to look at snake scent trailing today. Awesome. And what is scent trailing for a snake? What does that mean? Well, you see the snake is flickering its tongue and that's how it gets information about its environment. And when a snake scent trails, it might be looking for a mate. It might be a younger snake following older snakes to a place for uh, hibernation or uh, brumation. And it might be hunting for food. So today what we're going to see is a snake um, scent trailing for prey. So snakes use their tongue to get information about the environment. Um, and so what they do is they get molecules from the air and they have a special organ called a Jacobson's organ um, and that helps them to know what is around them. So they almost taste smells. Yeah. That's very cool. And Elena, who are we working with today? We're working with Toby. Toby is a fox snake. So we're looking at almost a maze. What exactly is this? It is a maze and it's shaped like a T. And what we're gonna do is get one snake scent going this way to the left. And then when we put the other snake, we're going to let the snake decide which way to go and look at if he decides to go where the other snake went. We're going to place Toby into the maze and we're going to guide him the way we want so that he leaves a scent in here and then we'll see later if the other snake will follow that. So you can see that Toby has chosen the side he wanted to go to and he's moving, we're letting him move around a little bit so he can leave a little bit more scent on this side. Um, we have just allowed Toby to go through the maze to leave his scent. I'm going to return Toby to his enclosure and we're going to meet the next snake in just a minute. So we have a second snake for our scent trailing. Who's our second snake? And why do we have two snakes for this exercise? This is Fang. Fang is a California king snake. His coloring isn't like um, most that you'll see in the wild. He's albino. And the reason we're using a different snake is that king snakes eat other snakes. And as I mentioned before, we're looking at scent trailing for um, looking for prey. He likes to eat snakes, so we're going to see if he catches that scent and follows it. Now we're going to put Fang into the maze and see if Fang picks up on uh, the fox snake scent. Let's see if Fang picks up the scent trail. And remember that Toby took a right So we saw Fang actually ended up following that scent all the way to the end, following uh, where uh, Toby the um, fox snake went. Um, fortunately, we had put Toby away. That's so interesting. So snakes use scent to find a mate, follow older snakes to places they would overwinter, and even to hunt. That's awesome. Thank you, Lulania, and thank you to Toby and Fang for showing off their smelling skills with us. I hope you enjoyed exploring how snakes use their sense of smell with our scent trailing activity with Lelania, Toby, and Fang. Leave any questions or comments for our scientists below, and I'll see you in our next activity.